Hello again, everyone. Welcome. My name is Adriana Fernandez. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Today, I'm going to show you briefly what are the steps to become accredited as uh, an occupational therapist in Canada if you're internationally trained. So we are in the regulator website, which is the Association of Canadian Occupational Therapy uh, Organization. Everyone needs to go through this main process, which is a substantial equivalency assessment system. Uh, if you follow this link here, you open a PDF. These are not the steps. If you want to find the steps, go to the menu, steps and fees, and everything that I have already open here. First step, credential assessment. Step two, three levels of assessment, language, profession-specific assessment, jurisprudence, knowledge assessment test. And the final step is a competency assessment. After you are done with this, know that you may be able to uh, register with your province, the choice, uh, you need to make the choice of province before do a research, and you may be able to apply to work with a restricted, restricted provincial license while you're waiting to write your exam with that province. So if you're abroad and you're willing to immigrate to Canada and you're an occupational therapist, know that an international study program for an occupational therapist may be around $34,000 in Canadian dollars. So this process, if you take into account the fees for the uh, provincial level and the federal level, it will be about five to $6,000 if you have to repeat or pay any extra fees. Uh, let's go to the, uh, the fees. You don't need to pay everything up front. This will be in installments as you pay as you go, as you write the exams. And if you need to repeat, there are some additional fees or possible additional fees. You can read everything here. I will be leaving all the links to these websites below the video. Uh, in documents required, you will find the uh, requirements for language, as you can see here, IELTS or uh, like English or French. For example, if after writing your exams and passing the assessment, the main assessment, you choose to come to Canada uh, in British Columbia, consider the $1,000 extra fees for the registration in this province. And if you wanna go to uh, Quebec, I will be leaving this link so you can find the process for Quebec as well. This is everything. Uh, I'm doing this because I wanna try uh, to help people who can afford um, an international program or international study program in Canada. Uh, this doesn't mean that you will be accredited or you don't have any assurance. You may need uh, to consider the fees, the time, and if you're willing to do this process uh, in order to add to your resume a credential accreditation to find a job offer from abroad and have high chances to uh, come to work in Canada, obtain your work experience, and then uh, try to qualify for an immigration or a permanent immigration. Uh, you may consider taking an international study program, which is obviously more, more expensive. I'm just doing this because I want to help people who really can't afford uh, an international study program. I'm not saying this is a, an easy or um, cheap process, but it is a, another option. So I hope you find this video helpful. And if you know anyone who is uh, interested, please share and do your comments. Uh, thank you very much for listening and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.